We did see lots of destruction on this side of the mountains and the other side as well. We take you to Asheville now where visual storyteller Jillian Taylor spoke with one man who regained contact with his wife during a live radio broadcast. Brandy? Yes. <laughs> This is the moment Mark Starling heard his wife's voice for the first time after two days of silence. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. When Hurricane Helene hit Western North Carolina, Starling was at work. Hey, hey this is Mark Starling calling in at from the my, WWNC uh, radio mom. station. This is the scene out in front of our house. His wife and son got stuck in their hometown of Black Mountain as more than four feet of water flooded the neighborhood. They waited in a car for seven and a half hours hoping to survive. It was about 48 hours. Um, before I'd heard from her. Then, while Mark was taking live calls on the radio, Brandy's call finally got through. And then my producer put her name up on the screen, and she's the only one I know that spells her name with two E's. And uh, I looked at the screen, and I just was confused. And I said, is this, is this who I think it is? And he just nodded his head. And uh, <laughs> as you can tell, it was pretty much waterworks from there on. This has been reality for many in the wake of Hurricane Helene. With cell towers out, people are unable to contact loved ones or access important disaster relief information. We have been going wall to wall with our storm coverage since it hit. Starling's radio station has stayed on the air since the moment the disaster began. This is our continuing coverage right here on iHeartRadio Asheville. They've relied on ham radio, satellite towers, and a Starlink to stay on the air and access information. Uh, what's your name? Radio employees spend the day fielding calls, finding the people who need help, and connecting them to the helpers. I get all of the information and then we just shout them out the best we can. We're trying to get people reunited with other people and, and we're just trying to use the power of radio to do that. Starling plans to continue on, sleeping in a conference room, fielding endless phone calls, and helping countless people. Because in times of crisis, connection is crucial to survival. I love you. I love you too. Take care, babe. <laughs> Bye. Bye. In Asheville, I'm Jillian Taylor. What an encouraging story on this Friday night. Lots of groups finding ways to help people in need. If you'd like to be one of them, just text the word HELP to 865-637-1010.